uh, we got a lot of comments uh, and criticism on the first game, especially from the American fans. Oh, this game lacks this, this, this game lacks that. And we made sure to include everything that people wanted. First of all, I wanted to use uh, the, uh, the strength, the capabilities of the 360 suits first. And as for, you know, the visuals and the girls in the game, uh, I think, uh, you know, it's like the best in the world in, with video games, especially when it's high def. I can see for sure that, you know, everything looks the best. You know, there are a lot of things I like about this game, uh, but I guess if I were to pick one, I think it's being able to play uh, tag matches online. I think it's a great thing you can do. And you, you can do that with, you know, graphics uh, that look like pre-rendered movies. And you can play online with, you know, that kind of, that quality of graphics. I think it's amazing. Also, in addition to that, is uh, being able to edit characters, like you can, you know, uh, you know, fully edit characters from scratch. It's, it's the same girls from the previous game, but what it is, in addition to the uh, baby face and uh, heel personas of these characters, uh, they're superstar versions of these characters. And uh, to make all this happen, uh, we have to prepare 40 character models, each consi consisting of more than 50,000 polygons. It's a very costly process, very expensive. Uh, when you become a superstar is that your costume changes and your entrance changes and your finishing moves and how powerful your moves are change as well. That's superstar mode. Uh, I talk about you know character editing before and what you can do in character editing is assign different costumes to the girls and what I'm planning to do is make uh, new additional costumes available online. First of all you can change the physique of the girls like you can make their arms and legs you know fatter or skinnier you can change the size of their measurements their breasts the waist you know their butts uh, not only that, you can also change the muscle tone. You can make them, you know, uh, bulkier if you want to. Not only is it fun visually, but uh, it also changes the parameters of each character when she fights. Uh, it's one way to uh, avoid uh, fighting uh, with another person online using same characters because you don't want two characters using Dixie and they look identical. This way, you know, this offers players to come up with their own characters. You know, you can have a very, you know, huge, you know, like a bulky, macho uh, Dixie, or you can have a very skinny Dixie. And how big or small she is will change what her finishing move is. So they're really like different characters when you change their physique. First of all, we really increase the number of uh, motions for wrestling moves. And most of these uh, wrestling move motions uh, have been you know, created uh, from scratch. And uh, different characters have uh, distinctive motions of their own. So like, unlike the previous game where you saw different characters using the same moves, uh, you'll see different motions uh, performed by different characters. And uh, there are you know, many foreign objects offered in the game. And uh, when, you know, uh, they're like, you know, uh, finishing moves that involve, you know, the use of foreign objects. You'll see a lot of that too. And for those gamers who play alone, uh, we made sure that the AIs are very smart. We've assigned different personalities to each character, and that's reflected in the AI. For example, you've got strong and tough Dixie, but she's short-tempered. So let's say you're using a small character and you have to fight Dixie. 
I mean, since she's more, she, Dixie's stronger, it's hard to beat her. So what you want to do is irritate her and you know, make her angry. Yeah, so you, you can really think about, you know, like fighting strategies, uh, just like in, you know, actual pro wrestling where you try to, you know, change how you want to fight the enemy depending on, you know, uh, how big or strong the enemy is. And there are also a lot of uh, uh, t tag team action specific motions in the game, a lot of them. For example, uh, mistaking attacks, like if you, you know, uh, try to hit the enemy but end up hitting your partner, and if you keep on doing that, your partner will become angry and you could end up you know, splitting. And there, there, there's some double team moves that can be performed only when you team up this character and this character. You'll see a lot of that too. And there's like, you know, uh, team chemistry between, you know, different com combinations. So when you pair up this character and this character, maybe they work better as a team than when pairing this character with another character. As I said before, you know, you can change uh, costumes, you can customize their physique. And, you know, when you do end up doing all this, uh, you create, you know, a totally new character. And if you create a totally new character, you obviously want to take pictures of her. So uh, let's say you know you've obtained certain costumes in the game. You want you know a girl to wear that, and then you know uh, bounce on a ba balance ball, or maybe you know do the samba wearing that costume. And you said maybe this photo shoot thing is for those players who play alone, but that's not true. You can upload these photos, so you can share it with everyone, and you can also download other people's photos. So it's not a you know solo thing. So you know, you know, all of this resulted into a major problem in development. Uh, the guys on my team ended up taking, uh, enjoying taking photos and uploading them instead of developing the game. Okay, yes, the, the game is almost complete and uh, it's coming out in spring 2006. So it's coming out pretty soon, and uh, this game is for the Xbox 360.